Hi carvers, today we're talking 2D models versus 3D models for your carvings. So no matter what I carve, I always do a lot of research online. I go on and look up a lot of pictures. If it's a personal, personalized piece for somebody's dog or cat, obviously I have to go off a two-dimensional, like a picture. Uh, but going off a 2D model definitely has its limitations. You can print out as many pictures as you want. You don't get the same effect as if you go off a 3D model. Like I used this Superman doll when I did my Superman and it was, it helped out a lot because you can get profile views. You can get the view from the top, view from any side. And it really helps a lot to be able to use a 3D model, especially if you're just starting out. Um, obviously the Harry from Harry and Henderson's, the Bigfoot I did, I used this so that I can get the proportions of his body right. Um, this is what I use to do the 10 foot bear, just this little figure. I think I got this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, and they're cheap, look around. This is a future project. I'm gonna start this probably next week. It's gonna be a big Mustang. Uh, that's what I'll use because this way I can look at it from any angle. So really, you can't go wrong using the 3D models. To me, it's way easier than using the two dimensional ones. This for doing an owl, something like this lawn ornament, plastic, cheap. Find these kind of things at like Goodwill, Salvation Army, places like that. Um, some of these, this wolf, I got, I think at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, had a broken tail, so it was in a clearance section for like $2. Normally it's probably 15 bucks. So I think I got this little human form at a dollar store. Something as simple as this eagle, it's got a lot of detail in it. It's got like really good feather patterns. So just little stuff like this, it really does help a lot. Because there's only so much you can get from this. You know, I mean, some of these you'll see, I'll print out different angles as much as I can, but you still don't get the same thing as if you go off a 3D model. Is this, you turn it any angle, okay? Let's go model shopping. First stop, Michaels. Now, Michaels has a lot of these little uh, variety packs of different animals and stuff like that. So it's a good place to look. They're only like $6, I think, for the bundle. Uh, so that's not too bad. Plus, you could always use, you have 20% off coupon. Uh, you can get two right from your phone. Uh, so yeah, Michael's is a good place to look for your 3D models. Hobby Lobby is probably my favorite place. Uh, I think they just have a wider variety. Um, looks like they have a lot more. And Hobby Lobby is always running special, so it depends on what section. Like this section, I don't think is 50% off this week, but next week you come to the same section, and it'll be 50% off everything. So I check Hobby Lobby probably once a week. Uh, some of the bigger ones like this, same thing. Sometimes they, they might be $25 for that. If you get when it's 50% off, you're paying $12. And it's a good 3D model. So uh, again, they have some of the bigger ones. These are great for uh, doing that. See, like 50% off wall decor. But I think those actually fall under the wall decor. Dollar Tree, another good place. I stop at Dollar Tree every now and then just to see what they have. They have these cool little figurines they're a dollar i mean you can't go wrong and they make for good 3d models uh so yeah i always check the dollar stores goodwill another good place to stop i check goodwill at least once a week they have like the knickknack figurine area and there's cheap but like the feather pattern on that dove that would be a good one but the best probably is amazon if you don't even want to buy something on amazon type in what you're looking to carve and it just brings up a wide range of different things. So that was for a dog. Here's the same exact black lab we saw at Michael's. Here, you don't even have to buy it. You can just hover it over. It shows you all the detail, all the different angles. You can just print those pictures out. Same exact thing as if you had it. So look at this eagle, the feather pattern on the eagle. That's what you're looking for when you're doing a carving. You go to the left, it's got all the different angles all right there for you. You just print those out. And you don't even have to buy the figure. Same thing with this bear. Look at that. That's just uh, just as good as having a figure. All the angles, just print them out. All right, guys. Hope that helped. Uh, again, as far as my preferences, I would always do the 3D model if possible. But if you have to go two-dimensional, just print out as many pictures as you can. Every angle, every little bit helps. So, all right. And that is just the tip.